In this lecture, we are going to identify different types of data that are used in some real world JSON data. So, I am going to use the same files or the same JSON data we have seen while demonstrating real world JSON data in a previous lecture. We have already seen that you can use six different types of data in your JSON. They are strings, numbers, boolean, null, arrays and objects. So, this is the first JSON file and if you remember the JSON syntax, these are the opening and closing curly braces to enclose the JSON data. Now, this is the name of a key and it is enclosed within double quotes. Now, are you able to identify the data type of the value for this particular key? If you remember, we use curly braces to enclose objects. So, this is of object type. So, this person key has an object as its value. And inside this object, you could see three keys that are 1, 2 and 3 and their values are again objects, isn't it? Here also you could see an opening curly braces and the closing curly braces which means this is also an object. So, you could consider this as a nested object in fact because this is an object and inside that there are three different objects. So, this is a nested object and the value of the person key is of object type. Next, let me show you another example. In this, this is the starting curly brace and this is the closing curly brace for the JSON data. Now, try to identify the data type for all these keys. This is one key, C-O-O-R-D. What is the data type of its value? It is an object. How are you able to identify that? Because you could see a starting curly brace and an ending curly brace which means that this is an object. Now, the second key is weather and what is the data type? It ends here and are you able to identify the data type? It is actually an array and it is an array of objects. How could you identify that this is an array? Because square brackets are used to hold arrays, isn't it? So, here you could see the opening square bracket and here the closing square bracket and you could see two objects. So, this is one and this is two. Means, this weather keys value is an array of objects, two objects. Next is base, that is the name of the key and its value is stations. It is enclosed within double quotes which means that the value is a string. Then comes main and its value is again an object. As you see here, the value is enclosed within curly braces. Next is visibility and its value is a number, isn't it? Next is wind, its value is an object here. Next is clouds, its value is also an object. DT is the next key, its value is a number. Sys is another key and its value is an object that is enclosed within curly braces. ID, its value is a number, name, London, it's a string because it is enclosed in double quotes. Then COD, its value is a number, right? So, this is actually the data returned by an API which is a popular API called Open Weather Map and we have already discussed that JSON is very popular as a data interchange format. So, if you want to develop some applications making use of popular APIs like Open Weather Map or Google Maps API, then you will find complex JSON data with lots of information. The values could be numbers like this, string values like this, then boolean values which we haven't seen in this JSON data, then null value, then arrays like this and objects as well. So, when you deal with real world JSON, it will not be as simple as that. Real world JSON data will contain lots of information with a variety of data types. So, let's see one more JSON example. This is actually 
the data returned by this API that is maps.googleapis.com and here you could see results which is an array because the square bracket starts here then within that array you could see an object and within that you could see again an array that starts here and this is an array of objects right because this is one object this is the second one and like that till this you could see a number of objects and that particular array ends here then this formatted address is actually a string like this then geometry is an object location is another object location type is string viewport is another object and here you could see a boolean value see true so this partial underscore match is a boolean value then place id it is a string types is an array and finally status is a string so this is json data returned by a popular api google maps api and we will see in the following lectures how to make use of popular apis to develop your own applications and you need to create as well as access json to make use of different apis so in this lecture we have identified different data types in real world json data in the following lectures we are going to see how to access the data in javascript as well as in php